Hey, sis. I didn't expect such surprise when I returned home from a two-year overseas assignment. When in the world did you get married? What, Sean? You're back in the States. Is it a temporary return? Yes, but that's not what I'm talking about now. Answer my question. Are you talking about whether I'm married or not? If so, I'm not married yet. I'm single. What? So, you are an unmarried mother. An unmarried mother? And what's the point of having your newborn baby in my house? Huh? A baby? What the hell are you thinking? Leaving your own baby with my wife and going on vacation for a month. What? Leaving my own baby with Naomi? Sure, Naomi is a housewife, so she may have more time than you who works in an office. But that doesn't mean she's not busy. Moreover, I heard that you didn't even come yourself, but asked your friend to bring the baby to Naomi. It's not fair to create such a difficult situation to refuse. You think we're nursery or something? Come to my place right now. I'm on vacation right now. Leaving your own baby alone? I hope you're not on an affair trip. Hey, calm down. How can I be calm? My own wife is getting trouble from my sister. I've never had a baby. What? I've never had a baby. I mean, I've been without a boyfriend for 12 years now, and I'm breaking all records. Oh, really? I'm sorry, I'm not popular. Can you please stop making bad jokes? Then, what about the vacation? It's mom's birthday celebration. We are at the resort hotel together. Anything wrong with that? Oh, yeah, mom's birthday is next Tuesday. That's right. Mom and I work weekdays, so we took a weekend trip. If you call dad at home, or a mom who is with me right now, you will know it's true right away. Sure. Right. Right. Do you have anything more to say? No, I don't, ma'am. Well then, we're done. Now I'm going to have a fancy breakfast with mom. Wait, wait. It's true that Naomi is taking care of a baby. Huh? We have no children yet. You know that, don't you? Yes. I never heard that Naomi had a child. And since you've been out of the country for two years, it'd be odd if she had a baby. Right. So I was surprised and asked Naomi about it. She said, your friend brought the baby to her a month ago and that she has been taking care of it ever since. I don't understand. I understand it's not yours, but it's true that we have a baby at home now. What? Please help me. I don't know what's going on and I'm in a panic. Anything you can think of? Anything. I just talked to mom and she said she's only communicated with Naomi on the phone and online and haven't met her in person almost a year. So she doesn't know. I'm in the same boat because I live with mom. Your place is over an hour away and we don't interact that much to begin with. You're right. That's true. Yes. Let me ask you something. Did you tell Naomi that you are coming back to the States? No, I came back without saying anything, just as a surprise. And when I finally came home... You found a totally unidentified baby. Right. I really don't know what the hell is going on. Frankly, I even suspect Naomi of cheating on me. I wouldn't accuse her of that until I have proof. Anyway, I understand the situation. We are gonna check out of the hotel in about an hour. We'll stop by on our way home, okay? Yeah, that'll be great. Sorry for sending you such a troublesome line during your vacation. Well, all you have to do now is go home, so it's fine.
You should stay calm for now, Sean. And don't blame or question Naomi. Whatever the baby's identity is, better not to do anything bad now, okay? Okay. Um, hi, Meg. It's been a while. I think Sean contacted you a while ago. Oh, hi, Naomi. I'm sorry I haven't contacted you for so long. And about the baby, I'm surprised to hear that it's not yours. Yeah, I know. I was just talking with mom about whether or not I should contact you directly. I'm glad you contacted me. Sean gave me a rough idea, but what's going on? Do you know a woman named Kim? Kim? If it's who I think she is, she was one of the classmates in high school. Naomi, do you know that stupid bitch? We were in the same club in junior high school. Oh, really? Wait, you mentioning her name at this timing means... Yes, she's the one who brought the baby to me, saying it's yours. Seriously? Yes, she said she and you are best friends and threatened me never to tell you. If I did, she said, she and you would hurt me badly as she used to do in the old days. I see. I didn't think you would do something like that, but I was so busy taking care of the baby forced upon me that a month has gone by without me having time to check in with you. Kim and I met in our sophomore year of high school, and she fell in love with Sean, who followed me into the school that year. She pestered me to introduce her to Sean, saying she'd make him her boyfriend. I didn't know you and Kim had such a connection. Well, yes, but Sean had a girlfriend at the time. I told her firmly to give it up, but I guess she resented me. She would come at me for no reason all the way through high school. We were just like cat and dog. So, that's how it was. If only I had known the truth earlier. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Naomi. So, what are you gonna do? Well, about that, could you please listen to my story in the lobby of a hotel at the west exit of Station A without telling Sean? A hotel? I plan to stay there tonight and have made reservations. So, you left home. Okay, Station A, right? Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Sorry, Sean. We are gonna be later than we planned. What's wrong? The shuttle bus from the hotel has broken down. We had to use alternative transportation and that was hard to find. We finally just got on it now. Really? Actually, things are a bit hectic over here too. Naomi and the baby have disappeared. Disappeared? I think they are around there somewhere, but they just went away without saying anything. Well, it's hard to travel far with a baby. You stay at home and be prepared for when she comes back. Okay? Thank you very much for today, Meg. Sure. I'm glad we had a proper talk. I'll start looking into Kim tomorrow. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Sis, help me. What's going on with this? Oh, hi, Sean. How are you doing? I don't give a shit about greetings. Naomi hasn't come home since then, and I haven't heard a peep from her. And then your old classmate Kim suddenly came to me with that baby and demanded that I recognize the child and marry her. Oh, well, then she went at you right away, huh? What? Do you know something, Meg? You know what, Sean? The baby is yours. What? And the mother is Kim. Huh? Oh, no, no, no. That's not true. I've been out of the States for two years. Sean... We've already found out everything. That's why this is happening now. 
Do you understand? What? You were seeing Kim when you were on overseas assignment, weren't you? No, that's not like that. Kim works for an associate of your company, and for a time, her assignment was in your neighborhood. I don't know what kind of interaction you had from there, but eventually, you became man and woman. Kim returned to the States earlier than you after completing her assignment and found out that she was pregnant. Uh, and it was already past the point of abortion. At that time, Kim had a long-distance fiancé and wanted to hide the fact, so she gave birth to the baby in secret. She found out that your wife was Naomi, whom she used to disrespect and bully, and made her take care of the baby. Mm. These are the results of my research over the past two weeks. Do you have any objections? Uh, what does Naomi... She says she's divorcing you. What? No, I don't want to divorce her. A cheater has no veto power. You know, Kim has grown. She was no longer as chubby as she was in high school. So sexy and glamorous. I'm sure all the guys would have fallen for her if she came on to them. Sean. I know, I know, I know. I never thought I'd hear such words from my own brother. I'm so sad. I'm crying. But I... Stop making excuses. Me, mom, and dad are on Naomi's side. What? You won't take my side? Of course not, you idiot. Oh, please, sis. My promotion offer is gone. What? Naomi demanded a tremendous amount of child support. So I've lost all my savings. And I've been demoted from chief and taken a pay cut. Ah, your company is very strict when it comes to adultery, isn't it? On top of that, I will be transferred to an overseas factory, which will surely take me out of the career track. It looks like I won't be able to come back forever. What am I gonna do? Take Kim and the baby with you, huh? You have a message from Naomi. If you will take Kim with you and leave the States, as a parting gift, I'll cut your child support bill in half. That's what she says. Oh, no. Mom and Dad and I are not going to help you. You're abandoning your little brother. Shut up and clean up your own mess. Oh, please, sis. Don't do this to me. My brother was supposed to come back to the States temporarily, but a mysterious babysitting incident led to an unexpected situation. He was sent to a foreign country out of the promotion route. He was insisting that he did not want to divorce Naomi, but my mom hit him hard on the head and yelled at him, and he finally gave up. He reluctantly signed the divorce papers. He filed his marriage license with Kim, crying profusely. With his new wife and child, he left for a new country. Oh dear. I honestly think it was a blessing that Sean and Naomi had no children. Furthermore, later on, Sean and Kim each had an affair with a local causing even more fuss. When I learned of this, I sighed loudly along with my parents. Well, it was none of my business. I decided to leave them alone. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.